This is a Wild and Out stand-up special featuring Nate Jackson. I know I sound mean, but is it my fault? I'm about to spend $48 on a chick that got a whole head full of edges? I don't think so. All right, y'all, make some noise for your host, Mr. Nick Kennedy! A beast, one of the best dudes out there doing it. I've been on the road with this dude. He's all over the country making people laugh, all over television. You know him, you see him. It's his first season on Wild and Out, and I'm telling you, he's ripping. And he's a proud member of Omega Sci Fi. Y'all make some noise all the way from Seattle, Washington. Give it up for my man, Big Nick. Coming at Nick, you must not have got the memo. With a head that big, my your thoughts have to echo. <laughs> Listen, Nate coming at me in the wild style, why bother? You look like a 90s black sitcom father. I'm a big dude. I need you to give me a chance. I got perks, check this out. Collard greens. What? Macaroni and cheese. What? like this is a church or MTV. <laughs> I miss my church. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. See, I'm from Seattle, but I grew up in a little country church. Church so country, we cook catfish in the basement. All the women take their purse to church with foil lying inside so they can take some catfish home to their baby. <laughs> Talking about the kind of church where people sing. They sing every Sunday and they ain't even in the choir. I got a lady at my church, she sing every Sunday. Not in the choir, she just start feeling it and she charge up like a crocodile. She like, oh, I'm finna turn up. She got a hard life. You know somebody had a hard life by how they sing. She sing hard. She sing so hard and long. She sing Jesus without even getting to the zus. <laughs> she just get up. Jesus. Y'all clapping. I'm like, wrap it up. I got clothes to wash. Black people, we sing too long. Just be honest, we sing too long. They're gonna stop letting us do the national anthem. That's gonna be done with. They're gonna stop. Nah, because when white people sing it, the game start on time. All the commercials play when they're supposed to play. Black people sing it, you don't even know if the game is on anymore. You're like, is it what? Y'all remember Tyrese on the Floyd Mayweather fight? Tyrese sang so long, I was like, they're gonna have to get Tank and Genuine to come get this dude. Is he? Is he trying to sell tickets? This is outrageous. He sang the national anthem. I didn't even recognize it no more. He was into it. Oh, to get to Ose. Do you know how long we gonna be here for the Rockets glare? It's disrespectful. I got dared while I was in college. Somebody was like, yo, if there was a comedy competition, like, do you think you could do it? I said, do it, I'll win. They were like, turn around. I turned around, there was this huge banner that said student-only comedy competition. And I was like, oh, I gotta write a joke. Ain't nothing more embarrassing than taking a chick out to meet your homeboys and her feet is messed up and you don't know. You like, check me out. You want your boys to be like, woo, just once. You don't want to get hit with a devil woo. You don't want that. Your boys look at it, they're like, woo, woo. You're like, what, what? <laughs> this happened to me. I'm like, look at her feet, bro, you didn't see? I was like, what's wrong with her? I looked over, she had slave feet. She had slave feet. Looked like she picked cotton with no hands. Just, I know I've been changed. I know I've been changed. Jackson, thank y'all for rocking with me.
Y'all keep it going, Nate Jackson. DJ D-Rex, let's do it how we do it. Drop it.